were discussing comedy and how it is necessary and its interplay okay. with authority and, and those concerns. And then that we're trying to kind of figure out what's wrong, possibly, you know, like, <laughs> why is it that that authority responds so in such a sensitive manner? And, and it's not just political authority, by the way. It no, is right. corporations. It is all kinds of different types of uh, uh, authority seems well, to be in general adverse to humor and it's always been that way because humor is like, dangerous because it can undermine power that's what this movie is about that's why it's so I, it was crazy when i watched this so look the scene where you see this most clearly trunchbull the headmistress that's cruel and domineering and abuses her power over the children she wields her power through fear that's how she is able to maintain power because all the kids are afraid of her. Even Miss Honey, the adult who is a teacher at the school, is afraid of her and still takes commands from her as if she's one of the kids. And she tells the kids, like, put away your, your books, hide this over here, sit over there, sit up straight, be quiet. Blah, blah. All this instruction on how to avoid drawing the, the eye of tyrannical power so that Trenchbull will come in and not notice something that could set her off. So even the adult in this scenario doesn't stand up to power because she's afraid. Now, what ends up happening is Matilda, <laughs> Matilda's a comedian, she learns that she can gain on her own sense of power, a little bit of autonomy, even though she's um, subjugated by all these different um, cruel authority figures like her parents and the, the headmistress, she learns that she can gain power by undermining them through playing pranks on them. And so when I saw this in the movie, you can say, well, this is a kid's movie. What is she going to do, murder the her parents or something? But actually, the fact that this movie uses comedy to undermine the cruel authority figures touches on something so true, which is power maintains itself, that maintains itself through fear it's more fragile because once you don't fear it, it cannot maintain itself. So that's the problem with the parents and with Trenchbull. They both wield power through fear, through domineering. But Matilda learns in the beginning, I can play pranks on my family. And she gets a little sense of her own power by being able to mess with her family, being able to play jokes on them with her powers. And it's actually, look at that word, with her powers. She's able to use her otherwise weird telekinetic powers that she doesn't really know how to wield yet. She learns how to first use them to undermine abusive power through playing jokes on it. And that's ultimately what changes the power dynamic with the headmistress Trenchbull and with the children. Matilda plays a joke on the headmistress. I think it's I forget what it is at the end of the movie. There's some, they either put, oh, she she tries to like freak her out and make it seem like the, there's a ghost or something. And so the headmistress, now she's afraid. Look at, oh my gosh, I'm just seeing that now. Now, instead of the headmistress uh, stoking fear in the children, Matilda brought fear into the headmistress and seeing the headmistress afraid and kind of bumbling and tripping and falling and getting covered in chalk suddenly makes this figure of domineering terrifying authority a joke quite literally a joke and so the children start to laugh and that's the spark there that's the populist revolution in matilda is when all the other children join in and mock this once fearsome authority power or authority by throwing their lunch and laughing at her. And so that's it. You can subvert false authority that wields itself, you know, just through fear or through through uh, through intimidation by mocking it. But that's exactly why any figure, any authority that is uh, harsh and against mockery and comedy is keying you in to what kind of an authority it is 
it wields its power through intimidation and fear. And so it cannot risk the population not fearing it, not being intimidated through being made a mockery of.